Pizzolo. Pro knows photo.com. You might recognize this photograph from just the other day uh, here on the site and on YouTube. We did a, uh, this was one of the, the submitted photos by our, uh, for our uh, submit your raw file. And uh, I liked it so much that I'm going to feature it again, no matter what Jared says. Anyway, here's the deal. We're going to go over presets today. Um, there's a number of things that you can do with presets, which are really awesome. And guess what? I'm going to show you how to export them and share them. And I like this photo so much that I'm going to give you the preset for this one and let you download it. All right, here we go. So first we are in the develop module. Okay. As you see, develop and in the left panel, we have our presets. Now there are a lot of them that come with Lightroom and in order to apply them you just click on it and it applies it. Simple as that. It's super super easy to apply them. Now it shows up in your history as, as adding that preset and, and you know applying that preset. You can always go back if you like. Now You'll notice that up here in my little navigator window, as I scroll over them, they're changing. All right, that little preview there is changing. So giving you a, a little preview of what the image might look like, instead of having to click on each one and then click and control Z, you know, click and undo, click and undo. You can just mouse over them, gives you that idea. Now you can make that panel a little bigger like this so that that navigator is bigger but to tell you the 100 percent truth if i'm not using this feature right here i don't use a navigator for anything else uh it's just to preview my presets if i use them uh the reason being is is i feel it makes the computer makes it a little bit uh slower i think it makes lightroom a little slower to have to render the image twice uh maybe it's just in my head but uh, that's what I do. I, I usually have it closed since I, I don't use it. But again, if I'm looking at presets, it's a requirement. I really, really need it. Now, what I'm going to do is create a new group of presets. Okay. And, oops. First, I need to create a new preset. So this is how I want it. This is the preset. The image is done. Everything's ready to go. So I'm going to hit click for create new preset. Hit that little plus button right there. Preset name. Let's call it. Hmm. Let's call it long exposure doc. That sounds good. Now I'm going to create a new folder for FKP presets. Fronos photo presets. And yes, I will be sharing this. By the way, I have another really great tip for you. At the end of this, I was reading through the Lightroom 3.3 updates today and the release notes today. By the way, it was released today. Uh, today is uh, the 7th of December 2010, and it was released today. And something I noticed in there at the very, very end of this video, I'll tell you what that, what, what that is. And it might just speed up your Lightroom just a little bit. Next thing, back to our preset. All right, we've made a new folder. We have made a new, given it a name. Now, there are a lot of things in here that I would want to add to the preset, but there's a lot of things I wouldn't want to add. Okay, for example, split toning. I don't want split toning. All right, I don't I didn't have any graduated filters. Uh, I don't think I added any noise reduction, but I'll leave it in there anyway. <laughs> so my point is, is that you want to choose them. And as you choose them individually, then those items will or will not, if they're unchecked, they will not, or if they checked, they will, overwrite everything else in the image. Okay? And so if you have a specific white balance set... All right, and I uncheck white balance. That means that when I apply this preset, then that uh, will not override it. 
So a lot of times you might not want that white balance to be changed. So I'm going to go ahead and create. And as you see, it created a folder. And it also created a preset. Now I'm going to right click on it again and say export. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop and I'm going to hit save. And there it is, saved on my desktop. You can't see it, but that's okay. Now, uh, let's delete it. If you want to delete one, you can hit delete. Okay, and if you want to import, just right click on the folder that you want to put it in and hit import. And there's the one that I just exported. So I'm going to import it again. And there it is. Now, let's reset this image. And I'm going to apply my preset by clicking and I'm done. That easy to use a preset. Now some other things you can do when importing when you go to your import photos dialog box I don't know if I'm gonna find some images that's okay you could there your develop settings you can actually choose any one of your presets that you have right here in your import dialog box apply during import part of the right panel and develop settings you can choose one of those so as you see I have tone curve strong that's something that I always leave on I think it's important to leave that on for for the majority of my images sometimes I'll get rid of it but most of the time it's there so that's another uh, another good way to automatically add it now let's see what else can we talk about it's, we talked about it showing up in the history panel we talked about how to create it how to import it how to export it can we we can even import an entire group I believe I could be wrong about that um, I'll let you know uh, in the post how does that sound uh, let's see I think that is about it so back to the the little tip little tip that I found today let's see if I can find it this is the release notes from Adobe on Lightroom 3.3 uh, which uh, I like to read over every once in a while da, 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 da. known issues right here fixed thought it was in known issues wasn't it there it is Lightroom performance can be impacted when the Windows recycle bin contains thousands of files so if you are on a Windows machine and you haven't emptied your recycle bin in quite some time do yourself a favor and empty it every once in a while because that as this says your Lightroom performance can be impacted when you leave a lot of files in there uh, I empty mine every few days anyway so it's not really an issue to me but a lot of people kind of forget about it so uh, check that out see if that's an issue and um, you know, maybe it'll speed up your computer if, you, if you're if you wondering why all of a sudden it's slower. See if your recycle bin is really, really full or has a lot of pictures in it. All right. Well, that's it. I've exported my first preset. Hope you enjoy. I'll post it up on the site. Any questions, let me know on the forum. Fronosephoto.com slash fronos. I'll gladly ask any uh, questions, answer any that are there. Again, I'll post this up. Greg Cazillo, fronosephoto.com. See ya.